Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here with Geekazine, another tutorial here, Video Resolution Explained. A video tutorial, you can use it for your YouTube, you can use it for your Vimeo, you can use it for uh, doing podcasting and uh, putting it up there on things like Cashfly, which is what I use for my CDN or another CDN, of course. So anyway, uh, a couple years ago I did this video. Um, and it was a great video. It's called Video Resolution and Bitrate for YouTube Explained. Uh, so a lot of people have enjoyed it. Thank you very much for uh, checking that out. But there was a lot of questions and a lot of people going, hey, you know, I don't understand this or, you know, I don't really want to know about this part. I want to know about this part. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm kind of condensing it. And two years later, it's time to do some updating on this. So I'm going to take out the first few minutes of that video and I'm going to get into the meat and potatoes and we're going to do the resolution a little bit different than I did before. So basically when I went from 1080p to 720p to 480p, I actually dumbed down the bitrate and, and showed those videos, which really didn't show the reality of what the video should be at. So I'm going to do this a little different way by actually shrinking the video as we go. Now, first of all, I want to let you know this is getting recorded 1080p, 3500 kilobits per second. Now, that is a YouTube standard. If I upload this to YouTube, it's going. It, it accepts that. It'll actually then change that. Um, so usually a 1080 video is about 2,000 kilobits per second. You don't want to upload at 2,000 kilobits per second, and the reason why is because then YouTube has nothing to pull from to make it better, because they're using special algorithms to, to bring down the file size, but make it look as good as possible. So you want to make a higher quality video um, and by uh, usually with 1080p uh, a lot of times I will do 6,000 kilobits per second if I do it from my camera and just doing a video that's usually 24 megabits per second or 12,000 kilobits per second if we want to stay on the same line here um, and of course that does t the video camera does 1080i as opposed to 1080p and we're gonna get in all that in a second here but the whole point is that what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to show you that all these resolutions from here. We're going to start at 1080p. There is a 4K resolution. There is the uh, the other one called the WQHD. Um, we'll get to that, to that, of course. Um, but these are all the resolutions you can do, the bit rates that you want to have. And I'm not going to show you the 4K resolution or the WQHD resolution. We'll start at 1080p. When it comes to YouTube, I found unless you're really looking for 4K video, that 1080p is more than sufficient because most of the people are watching from a mobile device, Mo most of the people are watching from a desktop device, v and, and if anybody does watch it from a TV, the amount of 4K TVs out there as opposed to people that own uh, uh, high definition TVs, uh, do not see, either do not see the 4K or they are just more interested in the video and it looks great on a larger monitor and most people have uh, 720 or 1080p monitors as we speak now so with all of that said let's get into the resolutions here and we're going to do it exactly what the way like we did before except i'm going to do the screen size a little different so this will always stay 1080p um, and we'll get to the first couple out of the way here first of all 4k resolution if you record in 4k of course, that's 3840 by 2160. And you want to have at least 9,000 to 24,000 kilobits per second, or 9 megs to 24 megs. You know, the, the math, do the, do the math a little, you know, how that, how that works. But, you know, because 9,000, actually, it's supposed to be 1024 times 9. I didn't do that part of the math. But the whole point is 9 to 24 megabits per second. That, that, that will be a good 4K video res resolution to put up on YouTube. It would then dumb that down pretty much to uh, about, I think it's something like uh, 3 megabytes to four, 5 megabytes, somewhere around there. I'm not exactly sure because I don't do too much 4K resolution simply because of the fact, uh, like I said, people, the 1080 is pretty good. And, and I do have 4K cameras like I have. <clears throat> my GoPro, excuse me, and uh, of course I have this new Pix Pro, which is a uh, 4K 360 camera. 
So I will have some video up there, and I do. you can check that all out at geekazine.com, of course. Next we have is what's called Full HD or WQHD resolution. This is 2560 by 1440, and uh, this is the step up from 1080p if you, if you really want it to look good, but you don't want to get into the 4K models there. Uh, we're talking 6,000 kilobits per second to 13,000 kilobits per second. And of course, YouTube will put that to pretty much half of it, probably 2.5 megabits per second to about 5 megabits per second to uh, to really compress it so you can watch it from there. Of course, if you're watching on like a Vimeo or uh, if you're going on your own CDN, you know, you, you don't have to have those recompressed rates. You can have, you know, the video at the bit rate you're running. Like for instance, the bit rate here, 3,500 kilobits per second. If you're watching on YouTube, it's gonna be dumbed down a little bit. Let's move from here. Let's go into 1080. 1080, first of all, you have 1080p, you have 1080i. I means interlaced, uh, P is basically 1080p resolution, full resolution. What happens with 1080i is it it does a uh, different compression algorithm. Uh, it's interlaced, so if I did if I move my hand back and forth, you wouldn't see this fluid motion. You'd actually see kind of like a jagged line. Uh, thing like um, you're watching an old TV and and it's it just it looks weird it looks weird now I have all my videos set to de interlace so it, it doesn't it doesn't really affect it from there 1080i is not a full 1080p it's a step down from there but I'm only using the camera in 1080i and I'm and I'm pushing it to a source that actually records in 1080p which you can kind of do you can kind of step up and step down a little bit uh, but the whole point is that 1080p is 1920 by 1080 and around 3,000 to 9,000 kilobits per second. Like I said, with my camera, I record at 24 megabits per second or 24,000 kilobits per second. So I have an, uh, as much data as possible. So when I go to push it into the videos that I create, it actually makes it look good and go from there. So that's 1080p, 1080i, a little bit smaller, a little bit more. And then there's a, one other factor uh, that we're going to talk about really quick, and that is frames per second. Everything, you have uh, three, uh, four basic models, actually five. You got 24 frames per second, 25 frames per second, 29.97 frames per second, 30 frames per second, and 60 frames per second. And there's also a 59.97 frames per second, I suppose so. If you're doing, this is all in 30 frames a second, or 29.97 frames per second. If you decide to go 59.97, which is usually for, uh, if you're doing sports videos and stuff like that, it's better at 60 frames per second as opposed to 30. But if you're doing, if, uh, you're doing 60 frames per second, all these numbers are pretty much gonna double. So 1080p will be 6,000 to 9,000 kilobits per second. So with all that out of the way, this is the resolution you wanna stay in the range for. And it really depends on the software you're using to, uh, to, to record your video, uh, the software you're using to uh, put all the graphics on and everything like that, and then get it out. Because once you get it to YouTube, it's gonna knock that in half and try and get your best resolution possible. Let's move on. This is where the screen's gonna start to look smaller. We're gonna have the same border, but my picture, well, I'll be a little bit more square, I suppose. A little square. Anyway, uh, here's 720p. All right, a little bit smaller screen size. If you were to actually extend it to the full 1080p uh, resolution, you would start to see a little bit of blurriness. Not as much noti noticeable, but you know, if you're getting into fine details, like for instance, water, if you ever watch anything with water in it, if you watch a 4K resolution to a 1080 to a 720, you start to notice the difference because it gets blocky, it gets pixelated, it, gets, uh, it, it doesn't start to look like water all of a sudden. And 4K resolution is like, wow, that's, that's an awesome river. And 720, it's like, yeah, it's okay, but you know, it's kind of blotchy, you know, so. Uh, but anyway, this is 720p, 1500 to 4000 kilobits per second. And then of course, once again, um, basically with YouTube, they'll actually, that'll be about uh, right for 720p. They'll, they'll bring it down to something like 1100 to 1200 kilobits per second uh, to really try and compress it as possible. But you gotta be in this range to have good quality 720 video to push over to YouTube. Let's move on to 480, so the screen's gonna get a little smaller. 
Welcome to 480p. As you can see, the square is getting more uh, shorter. Um, if we blew this up, once again, you'll see more pixelation in here. Uh, not as much because uh, I have a lot of lighted sources here, but if I, like for instance, if I pull up my iPhone, which has a, a black screen, if I, if I put up a, a black sheet or something like that, you would start to see some of the, the blotchiness. And once again, if I ran a stream of water, you would start to see those blocks really come in on 480p. 500 kilobits to 2000 kilobits per second or two megabytes per second or megabits per second, excuse me. And uh, that will uh, that will give you the resolution that you need for a 480p video. This is perfect. It'll work perfect on, on a lot of mobile devices. Newer, newer mobile devices are really going to start to notice things, you know, older like an iPhone 4 or, or, or some phone that's maybe two years old. You'll, you won't really notice 480p versus 1080p because in all reality, it won't, it, it probably doesn't have that resolution to go past there. So basically the video, even though it's playing 1080p, you're not seeing 1080p, simple as that. So, all right, let's move on. Let's get smaller with this one. Welcome to 360p, 400 to 1000 kilobits per second. Uh, once again, this is, this is for fast video and uh, you know, like if you're, if you're playing a game or something like that, if you if you need like quick videos that load up super fast, um, they don't have to take the full screen. Um, you're not planning to put them, play them on a big TV or anything like that. This is perfect. So and you can you can have a few of those playing and and uh, and go from there. But 360p also a lot of people content creators still still record in 360p simply because of the fact once again if if they're doing hour long shows. 400 to 1,000 kilobits per second means that an hour file is gonna be uh, is gonna be rather small. We're talking like uh, maybe 100 megabytes. I'm, I didn't do the math, so I'm I'm just kind of spitballing it at this point. But uh, think about it. If if you're doing long form video, 360p might be the solution that you're in. It's smaller, and of course, when you stretch it out to the screen, it's a little bit a uh, little bit fuzzier, but not too bad. The next one. Is, is super small and of course you'll see a lot of fuzz if you were to expand it. that's 240. 426 by 240 otherwise known as 240p uh, it gives you about 300 to 700 kilobits per second now keep in mind you can actually do a 240p at 24 megabits per second if you wanted to um, and it would try and cram in as much uh, information as possible. But, you know, really, if you get past about two megabits per second on a, uh, let's, let's, let's double that, say about four or five megabits per second on a 240p video, then I think the extra information, it's, it's just gonna be way too much and there's no algorithm that's gonna really kind of figure the, all that out to scrunch it down to 300 to 700 kilo, kilobits per second. So, if you do if you do 240p, once again, this is perfect for long form video and mobile usage and, and stuff like that because an hour long video is gonna be, you know, under a hundred megabytes, I believe. And you'll be able, maybe it's a little bit more than that, but you'll be able to fit a lot more and keep your CDN costs down and uh, del deliver some good video. Now, in the previous video, I also did 144p. Now, 144p was for the Google Glass, which I have on my drone right there. Um, uh, the Google Glass, uh, since they're not really developing it at this point in time, I don't even know if they do the 144p resolution. Let me just check really quick. Yeah, they actually they do 144p resolution. And, and if I showed this on the uh, YouTube page, I just switched it to 144. You could kind of see how blurry it is. Let's bring it back up to... Uh, Let's bring it up back up to the 4K to really notice the difference there. That might take a second. There we go. So a little bit uh, lot clearer right there from the 144. So, but basically, you're seeing this at 144. Let's let's bring let's bring this up and do that again, and you'll see the blurriness right there. So that's basically the the idea is it's going to be super blurry because it's going to be like you know as opposed to the 1080p screen, it's going to be about this big. Uh, on that screen. So if you put it on your big TV, yeah, it's going to look like a blurry mess. But 
it's going to download really quick and you'll be able to watch it without any buffering, especially if you have, you know, bandwidth issues, uh, you're running off of a DSL or, or a slower internet connection, you'll be able to watch this video. So, and, and a lot of Netflix, if you're watching Netflix at home, you got a good bandwidth at home, you're watching Netflix probably at uh, 720, maybe 1080, maybe even 4K resolutions. But when you're at a hotel and you want to watch that same Netflix movie, and you'd love 4K, but the reality is they're not giving you the bandwidth for 4K. So you'll take what you can get. And if it's in 240p, hey, it's in 240p. You're watching a video without, you know, paying the hotel fee for, for a movie and uh, be entertained at the exact same time. So that's not too bad. So anyway, hopefully that explains a lot more. Let's go over the numbers really quick. We're not going to change the screen really quick. We have 4K. Uh, 9,000 kilobits per second to 24,000 kilobits per second, 3840 by 2160 resolution. Then you have Full HD or WQHD, which is 2560 by 1440 at 6,000 or 13 to 13,000 kilobits per second or 13 megabytes per second. 1080p, 1920 by 1080, 3,000 to 9,000 kilobits per second. 720p at 1500 to 4000 kilobits per second. 480p 850, uh, 854 by 480 at 500 to 2000 kilobits per second. 640 by 360 at uh, 400 to 1000 uh, kilobits per second. And then of course 240p 300 to 700 kilobits per second. 240p being a lot faster, and then of course 4K being a lot slower. And then of course if you put it up on YouTube, they're actually making all these versions. So if somebody watches, and they're watching in a video that only does 240p, they're going to show you the 240p video. They're going to show you the 360 if it can do that. If it can go up to 1080, it might show you that. You might have to actually just say, hey, I want to see the 1080 version. But the whole point is, that you'll have choices, and if the bandwidth starts to uh, squelch or whatever, it'll actually change the resolution so you can continue to watch the video without it to buffering too hard. So that's why sometimes the video gets a little blurry when you're uh, when you're watching video. So, anyway, that's it. I went through a whole gamut here in the last 17 minutes. That was video resolution, bitrate explained, updated for 2016. A little video tutorial. If you're planning to do video, let me know. You can tweet me over at Geekazine or Geekazine at gmail.com. Think Magazine. Put in a geek. You've got me. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. And uh, hopefully this video has has been very informative. Uh, go ahead and watch the older video. It does have some more information in there. And then we'll go from there. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, you guys geek out and take care.